not me trying to do a spooky look. Anyways. <laughs> Hey gang, Nedji here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So today I have a cute little video for you. We buzzing out the costumes. Happy October, happy spooky season. I usually don't do spooky season on my channel, but this year is the second year in the Panini and I just kind of feel like, let's challenge ourselves a little bit. You know what that's called? Growth. First look at the gate, Morticia Adams, coincidentally, but also not because my mind. Um, the Adams Family movie, like the second one, comes out today, so. Someone call me. I feel like I pulled it off. It's like the black Morticia Adams without looking too ashy, too crazy, looking good under like, you know, low light and flash in the dark. We're looking good. It's black girl friendly, y'all. Uh, the look was easy to put together. We're going for things that are in your closet around the house. We're not trying to always buy costumes every year, especially to year two in the Panini. We're certainly not trying to buy costumes. We didn't even know we we're gonna be allowed outside that night. So these looks that I'm gonna push out for the month of October are gonna be super simple. Just things, dress just by grabbing things you have around your house and wigs you should probably already have. A just easy way to transform those things into a look, a little costume or whatever. So if you want to get into today's Morticia Adams look, then just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, enjoy the Nadji gang 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 gang, and let's get into this video. Okay, to start, we're priming our skin with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and then going straight into gluing down these brows. I just grabbed a glue stick from the store and then I put it on my brows, patted the way to excess and put the powder right on top. Do not let it dry or else it's just gonna dry and you won't be able to put the powder on. Yes, I look crazy. Then I'm going to trace out my brows. It's a very dramatic brow, so I wanted to make sure that I had a stencil before going in with liquid liner. Yes, that's correct, liquid liner. Now you understand why I wanted the stencil. Then we're going straight into concealing my brows. I'm using the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer. The color and shade of everything will be linked down below. And then we go straight into wig application. I didn't spend a lot of time on the wig application because this is the same application in my most recent wig video. So go check that out if you have any questions about that. But it's pretty straightforward. Use the spray, blow dry it, apply the wig. I'm using a band to secure it and melt the lace down. And then I'm just making sure to put some foundation on my part so that it looks natural. So now I'm going to straighten the wig and I'm going to go straight into my foundation routine. Today I'm using the Fenty Soft Matte Foundation. You don't need to go too pale with the foundation. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to highlight and apply lots of powder and that's how I'm going to get that pale look. Then I'm going to take off my wig band so that I can put the foundation into my hairline and just finish finessing the wig. I'm going to go into it with my hot comb and my wax stick and do all that kind of stuff just so that it looks good and blended into the hairline and I'm not really worrying about the hair. Now I'm highlighting with the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer again because this is the lightest concealer that I have. As you can see, it is way lighter than my normal concealer shade and that's going to help us add dimension without it looking crazy. The real piece de resistance for this look is the powder. So I'm still gonna contour, but at the end of the day, that's mostly for me to have a kind of guide to go based off of. What's really gonna make me look pasty is all the powder I'm going to layer on top of this. So as you can see right now, I'm going in with my powder. I'm using the Stasha Buttercup powder and I'm just slapping it on. Like I'm not careful with this at all. I don't really care where it goes because at the end of the day, Morticia just looks pale. She looks like she is dead anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like she's dead. So at the end of the day, it's mostly about looking pasty like you have casket makeup on. So you don't have to be shy with it. And again, if you have a really good setting powder like the Sasha Buttercup powder or like your Fenty Pro Filter powder, you're not gonna get flashback no matter how much you add on. And especially if you're not using an overly white one. Now I'm contouring. I'm using the Sephora Pro palette, but I'm also mixing in a bit of black eyeshadow just so I get a more severe contour. So I'm going back and forth between my powder and that contour blend and I'm going through my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and I'm going all the way up into the crevice of my eye just because Morticia has such intense and severe bone structure so I'm basically trying to make that with the brown and the black mixture I do bring it into the crease of my eye because that's going to basically act as my transition shade for my eyeshadow look today Now to get the look that I accomplished, it does require a lot of blending. So right here, I'm using just the brown to deepen the creases of my eyes. Here, I'm applying the powder 
with a heavy hand. It's not a lot of powder, but it's with a heavy hand in the jowls of my face. And here I'm just going back and forth with the black and brown to look more, it's not dead, but basically give myself the bone structure of a dead person. I'm living. Again, going down my jawline, as you can see, I've deepened it a lot on my face and it does look kind of crazy, but that's basically what we're looking for. So now I'm deepening the crease of my eyeshadow even more by using the deepest contour shade in this palette with a black eyeshadow. And I'm just mixing that and blending back and forth, back and forth, because yes, she's dead, but she still has taste. Like that's the best thing about Morticia is she's this crazy lady who loves all these spooky, creepy things, but her makeup was always flawless. She always looked good. She always looks snatched so we don't lose that just because we're working with darker shades still blend now I'm going into the Fenty snap shadow shade palette situation number two because it's literally perfect for a dead woman <laughs> like I don't know how I almost missed this but I almost didn't use this I'm using the gray shimmer and I'm applying it on the lids and then I'm using the deepest gray and I'm applying it in my waterline and to deepen the crease and like look at this eye this is a glam eye that I came up with for a dead person like with these brows I feel like I should have thin brows and gray eyes all the time now we're going straight into eyeliner. I do do a more dramatic liner. I didn't see more Trisha with a liner that's dramatic, but I feel like it just suited my eye best. So do what works best for your eye. Now, how can we forget her iconic brow bone highlight? So I'm going in with the gray shimmer again, just to complete the look with that brow bone highlight. Like, are you eating this up? Yes or no? In the Sephora Pro Palette, there is a shimmery silver highlighter situation. So I decided to use that. I wanted to use something cool tone, but I didn't want it to be stark silver. And I like that this had like bluish tones in there. It kind of really went with the gray eyeshadow. So I used that to highlight. Yes, I turned my pimple into a mole because she's rude for showing up when she knew I had Halloween plans anyways. So that's a mole, it's really a pimple, but now it's a mole. For mascara, I use Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because it's just so good. And look how I look. Like, I feel like I was eating this up. Before I was putting on the lashes, I was really kind of obsessed and living, and I feel like I should look like this all the time. But anyways, I'm using Artie Beauty's Confidence Lashes just because Morticia is confident, and I feel like it's a really good lash that kind of gives you that gothic look, but not too overboard, not too spooky looking, still very glam. And I'm just using some liner to hide my dutty lash band because I'm not using fresh lashes for this look. It was pretty intense. But yes, I'm serving bone structure, yes. So you could leave where it's at or you could come with me. I'm taking some white eyeshadow and I'm re-highlighting my highlighted areas. The reason being is because I felt like Morticia is just so pale. And yes, I'm a black woman, but I really wanted to convey that I'm Morticia and not just an ashy black woman. So I really had to take it there and go straight into lips after that. I'm using a black liner for this Huda Beauty red lip and we're basically done. <laughs> and this is a finished look i really hope i showed you guys everything <laughs> because it's hard not to talk and like i had to do voiceover because i honestly didn't know how this was gonna go and i was really really worried about it because it's a lot of powder like i'm gonna turn on my white light so you guys can see what it looks like but i'm glad that i have this high intensity light in the dark so you can see that even if you do like an ashy look like this you don't need to look crazy in pictures <laughs> like i feel like i look good Ashtastic, like it's good. Like I, I don't know. Like I'm. This is my first look. First of all, ever. I don't usually do anything that's remotely scary, spooky, ashy, dark and gray. So I think I did a good job, and especially because I want these looks that I'm going to turn out to be relatively easy for anybody to do. I wanted to be able to be done with stuff that you have. So like a black dress, a wig that you can revamp, and some makeup. Like I feel like. Let's not make it complicated. We've been inside for too long. When people are trying to come outside, they're not necessarily trying to buy costumes, paint an arm and a leg, but you want to look good and you want to serve a look. So I feel like this is the look. This is it. And I think it's cute. And also the movie comes out today. So like my mind, like who's that? So anyways, check that out. Hopefully, you know, sponsor your girl or something. But anyways, <laughs> back to the dark where we belong. I put on this dress. It's a little backless number. I see. But I
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're gonna get into spooky season this year, just a little bit, like honestly, just a little bit. I literally only have a couple looks planned and anything else that comes to mind, I'll try to execute, you know? So I hope you guys like this. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. Leave that in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.